Yo, what is going on guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everybody's doing well out there. This is gonna be a Reigns Indie Spotlight, my impressions of Crawl, which came out this past week on April 11th uh, on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and it's been out on Steam for a while. It retails for $15 and is developed by Power Hoof Games. Great name. But basically, what is Crawl? Well, Crawl is a dungeon crawler where you control the monsters. And the retails for $15. It's it's on sale right now as an Xbox Live Gold member. You can get it for $12. And it's basically a, loac, a, a local co-op party game, right? I'm playing the game in single player because you can play against bots, so there is that. But it's this dungeon crawler where you control the hero and the other players you're playing against whether they're real people or bots will can take control of the ghosts you see i just killed the other three heroes now they're the ghosts and what the ghosts are going to try to do is kill me so they basically take um they'll take control of things in the environment to try to kill me they'll summon monsters which they'll control to, to try to beat me and my and the, the whole purpose of the game is to basically kill the enemies that they summon so you can level up and once you reach level 10, you can escape the dungeon and fight the boss. So it's a pretty unique concept uh, where the friends you're playing against, um, you're not playing together, you're actively trying to kill the person who is the hero. Um, which is kind of interesting, and I I'll have gameplay up here when I got killed by the AI and, I'm and I was controlling uh, the... You know the the ghouls so to speak now the, the controls are pretty much basic you attack with a and you have a special move with b uh after and at the end of every floor you can level up your character uh the ones who are playing as ghouls every time a main character levels up they get wrath and then they can spend their wrath on the monsters that they control to make them better and then the gold you get as you play, you can, you'll find shops where you can buy items, uh, better things, you know, your typical dungeon crawler type stuff. But the whole point is to make it to level 10, to go through the portal, and to fight the boss. It's an interesting game. I actually kind of, I'm, I've never really been a huge fan of the 8-bit style, but I actually like this kind of macabre, uh, macabre, or whatever, however you spell that word, like, the 8-bit style they have going on in this game. I, I think it's kind of uh, kind of cool. It kind of fits with the theme going on there. And Oh, I died. There you go. So when you die, the person who killed you or the bot that killed you, they'll become the hero. And now I am playing as the ghost. So as you play as the ghost, you'll see things like that are, that are like circled in white that you can then uh, take control of of and try to destroy uh, the hero so then you can become the hero and only one person can basically win the game only one person can go through the portal and fight the boss and eventually escape and that's the whole basic um twist on the game and and it, is the question becomes is it enough if you are playing it as a single player because if you're just like me and you're playing it by yourself you do have the bots and there are three difficulty settings easy normal and hard uh i think i don't think so i i, I don't think so i think this game is is probably way more enjoyable in if you have real people over to play because e even playing against the bots this game gets kind of chaotic it's kind of hard to see uh, what's going on at the screen at all times and who's who and who's attacking so I can imagine this game It's probably quite a lot of fun as you play through it now the achievements looking at the list and, and stuff like that This seems like a very long completion maybe potentially very hard completion And you do have to play against some of the bots to get all the rest of the achievements So if you're looking for a quick and easy uh, game, this is not it but if you're looking for a party game, I think this might fit that bill. Now, the price is $15, although it's on sale for $12. Eh, I think $15 is a little bit too expensive for what it offers here. Um, and maybe wait for an even deeper sale. So you see, uh, as I'm playing here, I just leveled up to level 10. I'm running out of health. I figured, you know what, I need to make it to the portal. 
and fight this boss and maybe be able to win because there's a bunch of different bosses. I mean, there's whole diff so many different things you can lock in this game, different monsters. I mean, you know the whole dungeon crawler tropes so there. I hit the portal, I'm level 10. I want to escape the dungeon. And now we're coming here to challenge Crook, one of the boss uh, bosses in the game. And this is, uh, I think this, when I recorded this, is my first time fighting him. I didn't exactly know what these things were that you exploded. But I, I, I do like the, the visual style of the game, and I like the music. Um, you know, it's just as a single-player gamer, like, I don't have anybody that really wants to play these games with me. I feel like this game is kind of, like, missed out on it. Man, that's one ugly beast. So, yeah, I mean, it's tough completion. It's a, it's a game that you need players, you know, other four other people to maybe enjoy yourself with. So if you have that, if you're looking for that, then I consider picking up. Otherwise, I'd wait for a really deep sale on the game. I mean, it's cool and stuff, but after about an hour playing, I was kind of like, yeah, I'll probably never play this game again. Hey, um... I make the videos because I want you guys to judge for yourself. Uh, maybe this game is right up your alley and you didn't know about it. Anyways, guys, this is uh, this is Crawl. Out now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for the low price of $15. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments. Hit that like button. If you enjoyed the video, uh, consider subscribing. If you want to get more future content, hit that bell to be notified whenever I do future stuff. And as always, I will see everybody later.